Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today, we're outdoors for just a few minutes, then we're gonna jump on the computer, but we're talking about Father's Day gifts. And this is a gift guide for you. And uh, not just, you know, film dads, but like grilling, and we're gonna talk about all the, all the types. Let's get started. <laughs> First, I wanted to start out here, out here with my smoker. Um, some of you may know, or some of you may not know. I like doing smoking and grilling, and I like enjoy I enjoy being out cooking, um, out in the outdoors cooking and those kinds of things. So, some Father's Day gifts for maybe the uh, father in your life who uh, is out with their Traeger or their grill um, all the time, right? So. One of the first things that I would do for a dad who is out and either grilling or smoking, right? Meat thermometer. So I've got this one here from uh, Weber, I think, but it pops off and uh, connects wirelessly. So I can take this into the house and still watch my meat and things that I'm cooking and smoking. Um, and then this is obviously the uh, thermometer part so meat thermometer you'll also see on screen here there is a uh, another one here this one connects over Bluetooth it's awesome it's relatively cheap um, it's a great little option for you you can have multiple uh, temperatures coming in too which is an awesome uh, idea another thing if your dad does have a smoker of any kind or that man in your life right um, smoking chips super cheap and different types of smoking chips. This happens to be con. Be con. I've got hickory here. Um, smoking chips, always a necessity. Even if they like to grill, you can still do smoking stuff on the grill. Maybe that'll be another video. Comment down below if you'd like to see how you can actually use your barbecue grill as a smoker and still do some smoking. So if you already have a barbecue grill, which just happens to be where my tripod is standing so that it's uh, tall enough, instead of buying a smoker like this guy, I don't have a Traeger. I'm not cool enough. <laughs> uh, but this was a DI purchase, 30 bucks. That's the way we do things around here, the Fam Bam house. Um, but uh, smoking chips, it's always a great option. Uh, utensils, things like uh, hamburger flippers, uh, tongs, all of those kinds of things, super important. Uh, hot pads, another great option for either the grilling dad or the smoking, you know, the outdoor cooking dad in your life or outdoor cooking men in your life. Those are always a great option. Um, an outdoor table, a uh, little cooking space, great option as well. Uh, but those are some things to consider if you're buying your dad who loves to do some uh, outdoor grilling and outdoor cooking stuff. Uh, we're going to jump onto the computer now and we're going to cover, uh, you know, some other things for dads and the man in your life and uh, we'll uh, we'll see you on the computer all right guys um, so we are going to talk about the th a few more types of dads um, we're here on the computer now this is a screen recording and um, I can't quite haven't figured out how to get my face on here at the same time so we're just gonna go with this and we're gonna run with it here so uh, on, on all of these products and all of, the, and all of these types of dads, um, these are things that I'm gonna, that I would appreciate as a dad and these are kind of things that would be also be on this channel or will be on this channel. Um, so the first type of dad after grilling, the grilling dad, the outdoor cooking dad, we are gonna talk about the tech dad, the dad that's into tech. Um, this of course, Crosses over with filmmaking here as well, okay? But one of the things that uh, is super important, right, is an external hard drive. External hard drives are awesome for your tech dad. And again, all of the links to the description, or all of the links are in the description below. So if you're interested in any of the things, jump on over to Amazon here and uh, pick them up and have them shipped to your house. And how easier, I mean, can it get any easier? Seriously? Like... All right, 
So, for 64 bucks, um, two terabyte hard drive, that would be an awesome, awesome gift by Western Digital. Great little company. You can see here it's pretty slim as well and small, which is just perfect. Also, if your dad travels a lot, right? This is a great little option uh, for the photographer dad, the videographer dad, the tech dad, really just about anybody. Okay. Um, you can also see here that there's different sizes, which is perfect. Um, and that it works with Mac and PC and all those things. Uh, so that's a great little option. Okay, moving on to the next one. We're just going to close that tab right there. This is still your tech dad. We have some, uh, of course, this is bumping up in price. And I'm going to try on, on these uh, different types to show you at least three different things in different price range. Um, and I'm going to try to go cheap, semi-expensive, and then more expensive gift. Okay, um, this one jumps pretty quickly just because of the way tech goes. Um, these are the Bose Quiet Comfort 35 II wireless Bluetooth headphones. Okay, these are the best headphones, I believe, period, bar none, right? This is the best set of headphones that you could get Bluetooth. Plus, they have Alexa built in. So if you have a smart home, or if your dad's into the smart home technology, right? Your tech dad is into that kind of stuff. These are even better because it has Alexa built in, which again, in my opinion, and this isn't because of whatever, but I love Alexa. Alexa, I think is one of the better uh, smart home AIs on, on the market. This is a little bit steep though, uh, 299. Um, it is on sale right now, so 14% off, which is, you know, you're saving 14%. That's not a bad deal. Um, they do come in different colors as well, so you've got that option, right? Match their setup or phone or whatever. Um, so there's some great options there. Now, also with Bluetooth, Bluetooth wireless headphones, if you're not kind of the over-the-ear kind of guy like I am. I love over-the-ear stuff. But uh, there are these in-ear uh, Bluetooth headphones. However, the downside of this is these do not have Alexa built in, but they do have some pretty sweet colors. Like, come on, come on. That blue and yellow looks great. Um, but it is in-ear. In it is also Bluetooth. Um, they're very comfortable. I've had both of both these and the other set of headphones, um, and they are awesome. Um, so I don't have them anymore because I had to get rid of them, but awesome, awesome headphones. Okay. Um, and the third item is a LG ultra wide IPS monitor, um, which I have this exact monitor uh, over at the high school where I work, and it is awesome it's awesome for video editing it's awesome for programming it's awesome for sitting there just looking at it it's awesome for watching movies all of the things um, it is not curved which if you want a curved setup cool um, that's totally up to you it looks like they're out of stock right now but they'll be in stock in on in july so you could order it get it on its way and then tell your dad that it's on its on its way. You know, uh, we understand delays and things, um, but this is a great option. Um, I believe it's HDMI uh, in interface, so you have to have an HDMI out. But but the color, the resolution, it's just it's so good. It's so good. It looks so good. Um, so that's kind of it for our tech dad there. Um, and, uh, yeah, we're going to jump into the next one here. All right. So now we're next, now we're going to jump to the next, uh, type of dad. And that's the, you know, the photographer, uh, filmmaker, the dad that's into cameras and camera gear and those kinds of things. One of the best things you can get for that type of dad or husband or partner or whatever 
is an SD card holder. Uh, SD card holders are amazing. Um, I have a couple of these and I love them. And this particular SD card, I really like this configuration. There are different c configurations with this brand, the B-Way brand. Um, so if you have a, you know, a camera that takes CFast or if you have, you know, some CFast cards and SD cards, or if you've got just SD cards, this is the one I have because I have, um, I have one of these and then I have one for just SD cards. But I have this one because it has the micro SD card slot in there that's actually in there and it clicks in there and they're not just loose behind uh, the case or just inside the case. 10 bucks, 11 bucks, great little gift. Um, comes with a little carabiner so you can hang it on things, which is awesome. Um, so, and I love this because if you have a drone or whatever, you have micro SD cards, GoPro, micro SD cards, right? All of those things that take. Uh, micro SD cards. This is a great option to have and it's 10 bucks. So there's the cheap one. Here's the little bit more expensive one. Uh, if you if you can never have too many lights in the film business, okay? There are just some things that you just can't have too many of. SD card holders, SD cards, and lights are some of those are for three of those things, right? Um, these are awesome lights. There's some really great reviews. Um, I've used them. I don't own them, but I have used them and they are awesome. Uh, they are USB powered, so that makes it really nice. You can uh, take a little power pack out there with you and plug it in there or you can plug it into, you know, so regular wall outlets, they're LED. Uh, these are the large version. They do have a smaller version and they do telescope up quite high. So you can see there they get up to, you know, 45 inches, which is pretty dang tall um, and they also come with uh, colors and diffusers and things like that so great option uh, really good color output let me know if you guys want me to do any specific reviews on these things and I'll purchase them or, or I'll already have them <laughs> and uh, we can we can do a specific video on that but let me know down in the comments but lights these are a great pair of lights um, and you can see here there's other, um, newer is a great little company here and, um, they do awesome things. So there you go. Okay. Um, there's that. All right. Camera bag. Camera bag is another great option. Okay. Um, this is, uh, from what's in my camera bag. I reviewed this. Um, I'll link that video uh, to to that. I'll link to that video. <laughs> Words are hard. Um, but this is my camera bag. This is the one I personally have. I love it. Um, I fit everything in there. I have a studio in a bag right now. It's just me, of course, but um, everything I use and, and have uh, is in this camera bag at the moment. So this is a great little camera bag to have, and it's only 33 bucks. Now, speaking of camera bags, if you want to go up in price a little bit and get something pretty awesome, uh, this Low Pro uh, camera bag right here, and this Pro Tactic, is an amazing uh, camera bag. Um, I love it. You can have the side access, all of those things. If we click on here, you can see here how much gear you can pack into it. Let's see, where did it go? This one. So you can have two cameras with you, your mics, all your stuff with you, plus laptop, tripod, all of those things as well. So great little option for your photographer, filmmaker, dad, husband, all our other titles, whatnots, okay, um, in your life. Here's another great option. This Peak Design um, camera clip uh, is awesome. So this, if you look right here, you can see how that's used. Clips onto a regular backpack or whatever. That way you can just bring just your camera and clip it on there and it's nice and convenient. It's right there. You can also have it on your belt, which is a great way to go about it. Clips in there, super easy, nice, convenient, boom. 
Um, and really anything from Peak Design is also a great option for your photographer uh, in your life, photographer, filmmaker in your life, okay? And uh, last but not least here, I know there's lots of extras here, um, but there's there's three extras plus the three I showed you. But there's this here, um, 39 bucks, and um, this is a cage for your phone. So if you have mobile phone or a smaller camera kind of thing, um, you're using your iPhone and uh, this allows you to attach all sorts of gear and equipment, microphones, lights, all of that to this little cage, plus have your phone in there, plus have it on a tripod. Um, great little option for 40 bucks or whatever it ends up being. Um, so you can see the prices on these. You can see that this this backpack, again, it's more expensive, um, but it is an awesome bag. Um, anyway, so there's the uh, photographer and uh, videographer Father Day gifts ideas for you. All right, moving on to the next type of dad. Okay, the next type of dad that I have here for us is uh, the woodworking. You know, the, the dad that's out there uh, creating stuff and in the shop all the time. Um, saw blades. Saw blades are a great option. I'll link some of my favorites in the description below. But I just wanted to show you, like, there's tons of different saw blades. And there's different sizes. So I'll, I'll do some links down in the description below to my favorites. Um, the ones that I use and, and love uh, when I'm doing my woodworking or construction projects or whatever. Um, but saw blades, super cheap, easy, done. A couple of questions, figure out what you need. You'll need to know the size and how many teeth, right? Um, and whether it's a circular saw, a table saw, what, what type of saw it's going into. Um, and for seven bucks, eight bucks, ten bucks, you know, and if you wanted to get crazy and get a bunch of them, all right, so there's a pack of ten for 47, I think it's a pack of ten, but um, that's, you know, there you go, right, if you wanted to get crazy there. Uh, another great little option here is the digital angle finder, okay. This digital angle finder, um, well, it helps you find angles, <laughs> and uh, it's only twenty-four bucks, and it's awesome. Yeah, it's magnetic; you can clip it to things. It's battery powered, um, and uh, it comes with this little case. You can see here, kind of, some different use cases to figure out angles and whatnots. Um, so construction woodworking all the things right it's a great little uh great little angle finder uh again one of the things that i've used but don't own just watched other people use and uh, want in my tool bag okay another great option for uh woodworking dad or somebody who's out doing a lot of construction and those kind of things um is cordless tools now i've highlighted this circular saw particularly because i have this specific saw um, and I love it, um, and it has been a great little saw for me. I've owned it for quite a few months now, and it has been it's been my workhorse um, while well, I've been doing other things. Now, I do have a corded saw, and I also have a table saw, but this has been awesome to be able to go out on job sites or construction um, while building my house and a few things like that, um, and has given me a great option uh, to be cordless and not tied down to a specific spot and be able to move throughout the area that I'm working in. And yeah, it's awesome. Uh, it comes with a five amp hour battery, the charger and this bag, which is great. Um, for 279 bucks, that's a pretty good price, um, for that. Okay. Now I wanted to jump in and just show just a couple of extras here. So let's go ahead and jump over and uh, jump into the, 
to some extras. Something that everybody needs. Okay. So here's some extras. Some things that pretty much every dad, no matter no matter what they like to do or what they're into, can always use these things. Um, this is uh, the Amazon Basics version of like Field Notes. Um, it's 240 pages. It's hard covered. I use this type of notebook all the time. In fact, I've got it right here in front of me. You can't see it, of course, right now, but I use it to write down notes and video ideas and scripts and little things like that. So this is a, you know, the notebooks are great, great little option. Um, I get notebooks all the time from conferences and things that I go to, but this is a great option. Uh, and you can see here, this is grid line. I love the grid line. Um, so if I'm doing any technical drawings or anything like that, I can also have this little grid line up here and kind of sketch in different things. Um, and it's small and compact enough, you can see there, that it can fit in my uh, camera bag or my backpack or whatever I'm carrying with me. And it's just right there. I fold my pen into it, close it up. I'm always ready to go. Okay. Uh, another thing is a Bluetooth speaker. Now, I've got some up here. I've got, uh, let's see, how many in here? Three, four different types. Um, I'm going to show you them really quick. This is probably the cheaper of all of them. Uh, comes in some different colors. Um, of course, the different colors are a little bit more expensive. Why? Who knows, right, anymore? Who knows? But um, Bluetooth speakers are awesome. Right, I I love having a Bluetooth speaker while I'm out working, doing different things. So this guy right here, um, this Ants, Ants, I don't know how to spell it, say it, but uh, this little angled triangle um, Bluetooth speaker is awesome. I have used this one. Um, my brother-in-law actually owns this one and I borrow it all the time from him because I don't have my own. Um, but great little option. Uh, and then this anchor anchor is a great little company. Um, they do a lot of other, um, electronic things, uh, like battery power packs and all those kinds of things, which by the way, that's another, that's another thing, right? Um, I could go on and on and on forever about things to buy. <laughs> power packs, USB power packs um, are a great uh, gift. They can be super cheap. I have, I think I have five in total power packs, power, power banks um, that I carry around with me and keep them charged. I love having them. Um, but anyway, so Anchor makes some of those. Uh, power banks. So if you wanted to get those, you totally could. Um, but this is a great little speaker. Um, and uh, it is a little bit more expensive, but it has some pretty good sound coming out of it. Um, and then if you wanted to go even a little bit more expensive, this uh, JBL. JBL is another great, uh, well-known company, especially in the Bluetooth speaker realm. Um, and they're very well known for the, the quality of their outdoor Bluetooth speakers. This one happens to be waterproof as well. Um, and I believe also comes in different colors. Yeah. So lots of different colors and patterns and styles and whatnot. So there you go, right? You can even get camouflage and then you won't be able to find it. Uh, <laughs> so another great little speaker here. And I think this is the same one yeah, so this is the same one as the earlier one. This one is just uh, bigger. So it's a little bit more expensive, only comes in two colors, um, at least here on Amazon anyway. Um, but I'm pretty sure it just comes in those two colors. But this is a great, another great little option. A little bit more expensive, uh, but the bigger brother to the first Bluetooth speaker that we looked at. Um, so there you guys go. Hopefully this was quick. Hopefully it was helpful. Hopefully it gave you some ideas. If so, and you've made it this far in the video, make sure to hit like, subscribe, and ring the bell 
notifications. Um, if you found this video helpful, please share it. Um, that helps me out a lot. And if you also found any of these products helpful and you want to purchase them, make sure to check the description below and uh, click on them. To be honest, and I hope I said this up front, um, but I do get a little kickback if you do purchase it uh, via my link. So if you click the link and then go in and purchase something, um, that gives me a little bit of a kickback. Um, so just folio full transparency here, right? Um, also, we have a Patreon page. That's gonna be down in the description below. So if you wanna help support the channel in that way, that would be awesome as well. And I've probably put a few extra links uh, in the description below to a few uh, things that I didn't include in the video that I think are awesome, like the power banks and a few extra things for dads. Um, all right, that's it. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you guys in the next one.